it's been a while since we really sat back and relaxed with a game, as opposed to wearing away our fingers in frantic button-mashing spasms. And if you're after a chilled-out challenge, Broken Sword Sleeping Dragon fits the bill exactly. PC owners have been enjoying the two Broken Sword prequels for years, but this latest outing provides a wider scope of story than either of the first two games and does a respectable job of filling you in on the backstory at the same time. Guiding protagonist George and Nico throughout this skillfully crafted outing and cogitating over what to do next perfectly captures the feel of all the classic adventure games from yesteryear albeit with cutting-edge visuals, a cracking selection of brain-teasing puzzles, and a vastly streamlined, joypad-friendly interface. Secondary characters roam freely throughout the vast environments, rather than remaining fixed in one place, and this allows puzzles to be not only location-dependent, but time-sensitive as well. Unfortunately, the pacing of the action events is still just a bit too far apart for our liking. But the feeling of satisfaction you get from solving a really tough puzzle and seeing what happens next is enough to keep you hooked throughout. You're not going to stop us this time. Weather like this, the old crate flies herself. How about weather like that? The insistence on the over-familiar box-pushing approach to solving puzzles is a bit tiring at times, and it certainly doesn't help when some of the camera angles make the ledge climbing and straddling problems painfully awkward to navigate. And you can expect on many occasions to be so utterly stuck wondering what to do next that the frustration level can be teeth-grindingly intense. But overall, it's hard to find fault with what is essentially a unique style of game. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, admittedly. But for those of you searching for a deep, story-driven challenge, it's superb. Come on, Harry. We gotta get out of here. Way ahead of you, mate. Go, go, go!